that? Send it to you. Send it to me. He's drinking his plum beer. Oh, that's no labels. No label yet. Testing it out, seeing if it's got any fizz. Oh, it's got head. It's got fizz. I use uh, an adjunct like uh, prune, prune juice, uh, blood orange juice, uh, cherry juice, or not juice, it's actually a puree. puree. It's a puree. It's got a nice color to it compared to your store button beer there. Oops, oops. Yep, store button on the left. Uncarbonated. It's got lacing on the glass. You can see that. Lacing is the what you see on the side there. <laughs> All right. No interference from turn that out because, well, you're the point. We didn't do this right. Strictly prohibited. This is called doling in. It's starting at 168 degrees. And we hope the final mash and temperature will be 158 to 160 we're going for. You can always add a little ice. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, 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 shake your brain, Bill. Shake your brain, Bill. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake your brain, Bill. Go slowly, my lovely assistant camera lady. All oh, right, smell the Pilsner in this one? No, it's not. Two pounds of German Pilsner in this one. Okay. And we had a stuck. And our temperature is coming in right where we want to be, 159, 160, 159, 159, 9, 160. On a good stir. So we'll remove our instrument here and we cover this bad boy up for one hour you didn't say it say what is this the way I do it Loft here, and we're going to put a sock on it. I want that dripping on the ground because of the bees. Let's see what our temperature finish was here. One fifty six. Never want to go below one forty eight. That's a beautiful. Came right in on target, just like the other one did. I'm going to pour it slowly across a spoon or something, so you don't stir up the grain bed. Although never really had trouble. Oh, that's a beautiful color. Yeah, we're going to speed this process up because my beer's over there get warm on the table. Keep that away from the birds and the bees and the trees and everything else. Was right. And I have it. Fuck it. Starting to boil almost right away. And as she fills in, as long as the sock don't come off. And 
so we got enough gas to finish this puppy. Drain that in. Hope we get a six and a half gallon boil. Then we're going to take the Fricks reading on it or hydrometer reading to see what, what our pre-boil is. And I know I'm going to add some candy sugar to this, a D45 Belgian candy sugar. So that's all I can say about this. We start the boiling process and uh, I'll catch you on the side when we start uh, adding brewing again you know, over here at the vineyard. Temperature at 218 degrees. 218. The sugars boil a lot hotter than water. 218. Check it out. I don't know if you can see that from here because it's getting on a camera lens or something. All the steam on the camera lens, I guess. Probably not easy to see that, but it's going good, really good. 18 minutes until I uh, add more stuff. We're running a strictly prohibited today, and we're going to use the uh, S33 East, I believe. Yep, 33F, uh, Safe Brew S33. I don't know if you guys can see that. So we're going down to that and pitch East in about 10 minutes. I just wanted to put that in there. This is the NFL strictly prohibited. Strictly prohibited here. All right, we're going to do a little bottling today of the uh, the chocolate stout that we made. The chocolate stout. A little over five ounces of bottling sugar here. This is corn sugar. We add this to our water. We boil it up here. A little over two ounces of, uh, or yeah, a little over five ounces of uh, corn sugar. Let me bring that to a slight boil. To two cups of water for a five gallon batch. We bring that to a little boil again, a few minutes, then we gotta cool it down to, to room temperature, which, which would be about 72. Okay, once again, how I like to do it is I take all, all the bottles that I had cleaned with bleach water prior, weeks ago, and I keep all away. I like to totally I like to totally submerge them in my sanitizer solutions for proper sanitizing. A lot of guys will just spray them with a little spray. Now, I believe in putting them right under the I sink them all in there and get them ready for bottling here. Put them all in there. Put them all under under a solution like that. You can't go wrong. Then you know they're sanitized. The bottling wand is under solution right now. Also in here is our graduating tube with the hydrometer for our final uh, OG or uh, final gravity reading. All that gets sanitized. Get ready to rock and roll for the bottling process. And in the sink already is cooling down the bottling sugar, which I said is a little over five ounces. And this is what we'll be uh, bottling today. We'll take a little. A little hood off of it. It's a little hoodie my wife made. It's really cute. It's out of an old t-shirt. And there she is. That's a uh, proximity negative black hole. Proximity black hole. Stout crush. Something like that. I forget what I call it. I gotta look it up. <laughs> and the rack here. And what I'll do is I'll take my bottles out. Of course when you have an assistant a lot of times it's easy. And then you stick them in the rack like this, get them ready, let them sit upside down on a towel. And like I say, they stay really sanitized when they're underwater like that, so that's just the way I, I do it, you know. 
I got my caps all sanitizing in there. These are in the solution too, being ready to, to go. I also got my spray bottle. And of course, I got my capper. Put that in our sanitizing solution also. And all I gotta do is get my bottling bucket, get that clean, and we're ready to rock and roll. So, I'll be right back after that. Okay, we got our sample here. It's a dark beer. Holy cow. I hope I didn't goof the floof on this one because I'm not sure what I'm seeing here right now. My hands are sanitized. Uh-oh. Yeah, this ain't right. This ain't right. Wow, I think we got a problem here, Houston. Ten thirty, we're gonna call it. That don't sound right at all. Yeah, boy. We'll find out. <laughs> that seems a little high in gravity right now, but I'll do the math and get back to you and see what, what that comes out to be, but it just don't sound right. As the beer transfers from the cardboard to the bottling bucket, I'm adding the bottling sugar now. Try not to splash it. Dump in the bottling sugar. Well, we carefully measured out before in a sanitized container, the whole nine yards. I like to keep it covered, no little fruit flies. And I'm definitely forgetting something. Got to stir it. Got to stir that bad boy when we're all done. I'm going to sanitize the big spoon. And at this stage, I can start emptying more bottles. Fun wow. <laughs> it's a time consuming process, but. And I'll go up here and work this carboy and make sure I get all the beer out of it. Don't suck up any dead yeasts. Which, if you look close, you can see the rest of the yeast on the bottom there. I don't know if the camera's going to pick that up. You can see a quarter inch layer. <clears throat> yeah, so that's uh, that's where we go. I just got to lift this thing up again because that's heavy. That's going to hurt. She's draining out slowly. I got to get two more cases. Two more cases of beer to put in there. So. Here's the start of the bottling process from the bottling bucket. Open the valve. Put the bottle into the wand. Get her going. Keep a bottle of sanitizing solution with you at all times. As this bottle fills, you can see it filling. You take it to that limit. Let the bubbles come out. Drop her down. Cap it. I don't know if I need this to come out on camera. Cap. Put it away. Another bottle. Cap ready in your other hand. All these bottles have been sanitized. The bucket, the wand, everything is ready. Bottling sugar's in. Cap it. Capper. Listen for glass cracking. Made that mistake before and cracked a couple bottles, which wasn't wasn't funny. <clears throat> you push too hard on the capper, you will snap the. the neck right off the top of the bottle. I've done that a couple of them. A bottle of blood orange and I cut my thumb on a blood orange. How's that for uh, craziness?
we're ending the near the building, folks, at the vineyard. You can see how this goes at the end.